Hi, I'm Michelle Loudon. I'm the Education Coordinator here at Wenatchee Valley Museum. And we are very pleased to bring you a living history program. The program is called Personal Encounters with People of Our Past. And we have brought eight characters from Wenatchee's history to life for our community. Our final actor will be Rod Molson, portraying Philip Miller, the first apple grower in the valley. He came in 1872 and was one of the first settlers here as well. Guten Abend. Guten Abend. Ich bin Philip Miller. No Deutschlanders here. <laughs> You're all Americans, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. But I like to hear the old tongue still. When I first come to the valley, over the Clockham Trail from Ellensburg, the first soul that I see and speak to is Dutch John Goller in Malaga. You know him? Born in Bavaria, he was, like I. We had much to say. Yeah. 1871, that was, spring. Dutch John had done what I was doing three years earlier. And now his grapevines were set in well and growing fine. And some fruit trees. And he had dug a ditch from a spring above his land to bring water to his, to his trees and his garden. I, I had come to the valley to search for gold along the rivers. But when I saw the land, and what Dutch John had done, I think perhaps there is more gold in that than there is in the riverbanks. Uh, there was little in the valley then. Uh, if you count uh, Dutch John and Sam Miller and Franklin Freer at the store, I was the fourth man to settle in the valley. Fourth. How? I got it in my head that I would grow apples. And in 1880, when my nephew George comes, why, there were apples and peaches and plums and grapes. But there was no way to get them to the market. Now, one day, I think, the army, they had built a post at Lake Chelan. And I said to George, George, I think those soldiers will buy peaches. So we loaded our boat with peaches and us and set off to row to Chelan Falls. Two and a half days. <laughs> and we lugged a basket of those peaches up to the lake and the army post was dismantled. And the soldiers were ready to ride out that very day. But when they left, they took all our peaches with them. What um, kind of apples did you uh, there were 20 different varieties growing. Uh, I think the favorite in the valley and, and even up into Brown's Flat and, and, and Mission, and, and Monitor and Cashmere they are now, uh, Black Van, I think we grew more of those than, than anything else and, and a variety of different kinds of pippins. Would, but, but oftentimes when, when people would come here to, to, to plant orchards, they would simply order trees from the east, this is where they came from, and they had no idea what trees they were going to get, and, and whoever was putting them on the shipment back there, they just put in whatever they wanted, and so we got the whole variety, and, and it was most common for, uh, on a 10-acre orchard in Wenatchee, that there might be 30 or 40 different varieties of apples growing. So, the wine cellar that Jake built, it is the most favorite community gathering place in all of the valley. On a day in the summer when it is 110 degrees out here and 64 in my wine cellar, we can gather a grand group of people who will be happy to sit around and share in my uh, wine and brandy and carry conversation. It's a good thing. And Jake built the house the next year, the, the same house that the house that I live in now, the first house in Wenatchee made of sawed lumber and not logs. He's a fine carpenter, a fine carpenter. And I appreciate your questions, thank you.